to see Scruffy TV. It's Scruffy Scruffy Judge. Woo! Scruffy Scruffy Judge. Woo! Scruffy Scruffy Judge. We're God's family. What are we? We're God's family. Who are we? We're God's family. Scruffy Judge TV. Welcome to Scruffy Church TV! <laughs> Welcome to Scruffy Church TV. It's wonderful. I've been looking forward to this all week. It's fantastic to be together today to worship God and to have fun. That's what we're about. My name is Philip. I'm a vicar here in Bath and Lizzie, my wife, is behind the camera. She would love to be on Scruffy Church TV but she can't because she's too glam. So she's a glamourer operator. Now Molly got in touch with us at Scruffy Church TV and she said, I want to see Glam Lizzie. And I said, well, she's not, she's not scruffy enough to me. She said, I want to see Glam Lizzie. And I said, well, she's not, I want to. We went to see Glam Lizzie this week, but keep watching, you never know. Yeah. Shout out to Josh, it's his birthday. Josh Avramenko, you are uh, 12 and we wish you a very, very, very happy birthday today. Isabel is new in the world. Our friends Ellie and Kenny have had a baby Isabel and she is beautiful. So welcome and big shout out to you. Lots of love to you and also to Josh and William as well. And a big shout out to a whole church, Christ Church in Julian Road here in Bath. Love Scruffy Church TV and we love you watching. Wherever you are, whenever you're watching, it's wonderful to be together for Scruffy Church TV. As you know, there are things you can get. You can stop the video and go and get them. Let's have a look what we need today. Here we are. We need a piece of paper, just a normal piece of copier paper, nothing fancy, just a normal piece of paper. A black felt pen, I've got a, one of these, but uh, if black one will work best if you have a black one there. Uh, you need some glue, something like that, or another kind of glue, a ruler, obviously, and a pencil. And today's pencil of choice is the London Underground. <gasps> Yeah, look, I used to live very near one of these stations down here. The London Underground. So that's what you need today. Have you noticed something? You might be thinking, why on earth has he got a bowl and some soap and a towel? Well, let me tell you. Today gets pretty messy. You wait and see. But before things get messy, we're going to get wonderfully holy. <laughs> Let's sit. Be as still as you can. Be as quiet as you can. If you're watching with other people, you might like to snug up with them and listen to this beautiful singing bowl. Loving God, we thank you for this time we have together to have such fun, to learn more about you and to talk to you as we pray. Help us to hear your voice. Help us to see what you want us to do in the world. In Jesus' name. Amen. Scruffy Church TV has its very own song, as you may well know. So, since we've got the song, let's sing it. Here we go, everybody. Sometime on a Sunday, or any day, I know where I'll be Watching my computer or iPad to see Scruffy TV Cos it's Scruffy Scruffy Church Woo! Scruffy Scruffy Church Woo! Scruffy Scruffy Church We're all family, now I wonder what will we do this week? I'm sure it will be fun and Jesus. So come on everyone. Two, three, four. Scruffy, scruffy judge. Woo! Scruffy, scruffy judge. Woo! Scruffy, scruffy judge. Woo! We're all family. You and you and me. You and you and me. You and you and me. 
God's family. What are we? We're God's family. Who are we? We're God's family. Scrub Church TV, everybody! Were you singing? Were you? Were you doing the woos? I should say that when you do the woos, you can also dance around a bit if you like. Now, have you noticed anything slightly different about me this week? Have you noticed that I'm wearing the shirt of the greatest football team in the whole world? Yes, I'm a Watford supporter. Now, it's very exciting in the Premiership at the moment because all the teams are playing each other and there are four games left and Watford are right at the bottom, near the bottom. So we need to win every game in order that we don't get relegated. So, Every, that, every time it's on television, I'm cheering away, going, go on, get, go on, get, oh, kick it, get it, get it out wide, get it out, go on. I'm saving every ball, I'm doing every tackle, I'm really getting involved. And that's, way, that's the way we love it. That's, we love getting involved with things. That's the way I like to garden. Because I've been doing quite a bit of gardening. At this time of the year, when you've had a bit of rain, and you've had some wonderful sun, the weeds can start to grow and get very, very long. And look at this, these are our fruit trees down here. And we've got some of the fruit trees are really good. Oh, getting tangled up in the vine there. Actually, let's have a look at our vine. Remember Jesus said, I am the vine. That might, gives me an idea, maybe for next week. Right, these are our apple trees down here. Now, uh, you can see in here that all sorts of weeds have started to grow in the bottom of this pot here. There's a little thorn there. And, and I, could, I could use these weed prongery things, but I like to get really involved. I like to get my hands dirty. So I'm going to get in here, look, and I'm going to pull out these weeds really carefully. Like that. Put those away. Put those in the green recycling bin a bit later on. That's it, get those out like that. And a little thorn there, out a bit prickly. Get rid of that one too. Oh, there's a rubber band there, I don't know what that's doing in there. Right, now then over here, I've got some of our wonderful compost that we make. Now, oh, I wish you could smell it. It's, it smells so lovely, a lovely compost. Now again, I could use a spade and shove, but I like to get my hands dirty. I like to get really stuck in. So let's get some of our lovely compost and put it in there. And you can almost hear that apple tree just saying, oh, that feels so much better. Get rid of those weeds and give me some wonderful Scruffy Church TV compost. And of course, we water it in as well to make sure that that tree it's going to grow wonderfully and maybe next year, hasn't got any this year, have some apples because it's its first year. Jesus loved to get his hands dirty. When you, people say, oh, well, get your hands dirty, they, they, sometimes it means really get your hands dirty, but some people, it means just get involved. And some people think that Jesus was like, he sort of wafted around in a white coat and he had blonde hair and blue eyes and he just said, bless you, bless you, bless you as he went round. No way! Jesus got his hands dirty. Jesus was really stuck in with people. If there was somebody who was injured, he'd help to mop up their cuts. Somebody who'd been in a fight, he'd, he'd help them. Somebody who was ill or had a horrible disease, he wouldn't just look at them from a distance. He'd go and give them a hug. He'd be right in there with them. That's what Jesus was like. And there's one story in the Bible that I really like, which gets really, really messy. Because Jesus, one day, was on his way home. Now you might be thinking, what kind of messy are we talking about? We're talking mud. Well, that all, that's not that messy. We're talking spit. Yes, mud and spit, everybody. He was on his way home when suddenly, he saw a man who was begging at the gate, who had been blind from birth. That's why he's got his eyes closed like that. And he was called Blind Bob. And Blind Bob said, Jesus, please, can you heal me? And everybody looked at Jesus and they thought he might just go, mm, you can see now, but he didn't. He looked at the ground 
and he spat on the ground in the mud. Now I'm not going to spit because I don't think I've got enough spit to make the amount of mud that I need for this. So I'm going to just pour some water into our compost layer like that. So imagine that spit. Yeah. There we go. Look, make a really good muddy mess. And Jesus got the mud and he went over to Blind Bob and he said, don't worry. Look, and he got the mud and he spread the mud on Blind Bob's eyes like that. And then he said to Blind Bob, go and have a wash in that pool over there and then come back and show me what's happened. So Blind Bob went to the pool and had a wash and let's see what happened. Blind Bob could see. Hey! Blind Bob could see. Blind Bob was so happy that he shouted, Hosanna! <laughs> he shouted, and all the people around said, hang on a minute, that bloke over there, is that Blind Bob who used to beg at the gate? And some people said, yeah, of course it is. And other people said, no way, that's not Blind Bob. And they quite remember said, are you Blind Bob? And he said, yeah. And they said, no, you're not. He said, yes, I am. I am Blind Bob. But how did you, how did you get to see? And he said, Jesus healed me. And he said, what, Jesus, that great teacher and healer? He said, yes. He said, where's Jesus now? And he said, oh, he's gone. But he was here. And I can now see Hosanna. I've got messy hands now. I need to go and wash them. Now you know why we've got that bowl. Right, I'm going to be really, really careful. I'm going to go over here and wash my hands. There we go, got some soap there. There we go. Wash my hands like that so they're nice and clean. Can you remember the word that blind Bob said when he got healed? Give me a ho. Give me a zan. Give me a na. What have we got? Ho, zana. So I thought we could sing a song which has got Hosanna in it. It's a song we sang back at Easter. And if you don't know it, I'm sure you'll get the hang of it really soon. Here we go. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Lord, we lift up your name with our hearts filled with praise. Be exalted, O Lord our God. Hosanna in the highest. Second ready. Are you ready? It's the green one. Glory, glory, glory to the King of Kings. Sing it again. Glory, glory, glory to the King of Kings. Lord, we lift up your name with our hearts filled with praise. Be exalted, O Lord our God. Hosanna in the highest. Last verse. Are you ready? Here we go. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus is the King of Kings. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus is the King of Kings. Lord, we lift up your name with our hearts filled with praise. Be exalted, O Lord our God. Hosanna in the heart. Great. I hope you enjoyed singing that. Hosanna! That's what Blind Bob said when he realised. He said, imagine that he hadn't been able to see the whole of his life. And suddenly, with Jesus, he could see. So what I thought we would do now is we would make a Hosanna moment. So get your thing. You need a piece, something to lean on here. A piece of paper. I've got a piece of cardboard, but just we're going to... 
we're going to get a bit messy with the with the black pens just to make sure that whatever you're drawing on doesn't get dirty so you get your piece of paper like this you can use scissors for this if you like or not but you fold it over like that and then you make a crease and then you can either cut that out that's halfway you either cut that out or i'm going to use a ruler because i love ripping paper with a ruler there we go whoops oh i messed that one up there we go there right you'll do much better than that i'm sure okay right in fact what i'm going to do i'm going to ask glam lizzie if she will just show you what we need again and i'm going to get another piece of paper because i've messed that one up now it won't be long just go over to the printer and this just goes to show that scruffy church tv is scruffy church tv there we are poor old glam lizzie you said do some really interesting filming with some glue and some pens but she has so there's our new piece of paper right so we fold it like that i'm going to do it on this side this time put the ruler down there and i'll be a bit more careful this time like that great now then let's see Do you want to that's it lovely now then take your first piece of paper and we're going to draw blind bob so you can you can do it but i'm going to show you how i'm going to do it if you, you might like to copy this so you do over like that down like that and up like that that's it so that's his eye and his nose and another one like that okay and then you draw a moustache and here you draw a beard like that and you can draw some hair nice scruffy hair and some ears now then for the eyes you just draw a little line like that because this is when he couldn't see like that, some eyelashes and a mouth like that okay so that is blind bob now you get your glue and you can do it either side i'm left-handed so i'm going to do it on this side you can do glue on that side just put a strip of glue down there like that so just down that side and then you get your other piece of paper and you put it exactly on top like that exactly on top and you press it down and you might you know, not need to wait a bit for it to get really stuck now you get your pen now if you have a look through here you can see a bit of the drawing underneath there but if you want to see it even more clearly go over to a window we've got the scruffy church tv window here that we just went through and if you put it on the window like that you can see really clearly so you're going to trace now the figure that's underneath so we're going to do exactly the same order we're going to do the nose and the eye like that okay trace it over the top we're going to do oh we did the moustache didn't we do the moustache and the beard underneath like that so it's exactly the same ears same place nice scruffy hair i used to have scruffy hair once there we go right and now instead of doing those eyes we're going to do big eyes like that yay because now blind bob can see we put a couple of little things in there and a massive smile this is blind bob's hosanna moment when he can see okay now back to the table again ah oh, and this is the this is the great bit you get your pencil whatever it happens to be and you put it on the top bit only you wrap around it like that now the secret of this is to do it really really tightly so you roll it up really really tightly like that Whoa. and we're going to have blind bobs 
Hosanna moment. Make sure that's really pressed into there. So are you ready? We've got blind Bob who can't see and then suddenly Hosanna! <laughs> see? Blind Bob can't see. Hosanna! He's having his Hosanna moment. Let's have a look nice and close blend is here. Are you ready? One, two, three. Hosanna! <laughs> Brilliant. Now there are lots of times in the Bible where Jesus heals people and helps them to see. And sometimes it's wonderful because they can actually see. But sometimes the people who wrote the Bible said, well, it doesn't just mean that Jesus helps us to, helps people who can't see to see. Sometimes it means it helps us to understand. You know, when, when you don't really understand something or you can't see how to do it, and then suddenly you get it and you say, I see. And that's what the Bible wants us to do, wants us to see, wants us to understand how wonderful God's love is for us and how we share that love when we are God's love in the world. Help us to see where God's love needs to be. So we're going to pray now. We're going to go into our prayer room. And again, if you're with people, you might like to cuddle up on a sofa or just get nice and comfortable. Or you can keep your blind Bob Hosanna moment handy. Blind Bob can see. Now there's a great song, When I Needed a Neighbour. And the words go, when I needed a neighbour, were you there? Were you there? When I needed a neighbour, were you there? And part of our prayer is asking God to help us to see where we can be a good neighbour, where we can be God's love for not just the people we know and like, but everybody. So let's have a look. This is Blind Bob. Loving God, help us to see all the people that need our help and our love. Help us to see people who need food and drink. Help us to know people who need love and support and encouragement. And we thank you for all the people who help those who need help that they see the people in need. We thank you for our teachers, staff at school, all the people who help us to learn, people who look after us in our councils and our country. Another verse of the song goes, when I needed a healer, were you there? Help us to see the people who need healing, the people who need to be made better maybe in their bodies or maybe to be happy if they're sad. So who are we going to pray for today? Think about the people you know who need our prayers at the moment. We're going to pray for Ellie, who had baby Isabel. She's not too well. We're going to pray for Livy and her mum who've moved. We're going to pray for our friend Lorna, who's having a baby. And we're going to pray for Jean, Another friend, and we're going to pray for Jane, who's got a big interview. Help us to see who to pray for. Let's do that again, and this time just hold somebody that you know in your mind. Are you ready? Who are you seeing in your mind's eye? Who are you praying for? We're also going to pray for the family of Richard, our friend, who was very old and he died lately. Loving God, help us to see those who need shelter. Thank you for the charities who help the homeless. And we pray that me, we may be welcoming. If we can't welcome people into our homes, that we may welcome them into our friendships. And the last verse of that song is, wherever I travel, you'll be there. We thank you that you died for our world. And we pray for our planet, that it may be healed. We pray for all people, that they may know that they are one big human family. 
and we pray for all living creatures and we thank you for them. Loving God, help us to see you in our world. And we're going to pray the prayer that Jesus taught us. As we pray together, our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. Right. Since we've been talking about that song, I think we ought to sing it. Oh, no India today. Right, let's sing that song together. But before we sing that song, I'm going to blow my nose. It's actually, it's quite cold outside. Cold for the song, huh? Right, thank you, Glam Lizzie. Let's sing this song together. It may be that you don't know it, but there are five verses. So I'm sure you'll get to know it by the end. Here it goes. When I needed a neighbour, were you there? Were you there? When I needed a neighbour, were you there? And the creed and the colour and the name won't matter, were you there? I was hungry and thirsty, were you there? Were you there? I was hungry and thirsty, were you there? And the creed and the colour and the name won't matter, were you there? When I needed a shelter, were you there? Were you there? When I needed a shelter, were you there? And the creed and the colour and the name won't matter, were you there? When I needed a healer, were you there? And the colour and the name won't matter, were you there? Wherever I travel, I'll be there, I'll be there. Wherever I travel, you'll be there. And the creed and the colour and the name won't matter, I'll be there. Let's sing the first verse again. When I needed a neighbour, were you there? And the creed and the colour and the name won't matter, I'll be there. Wonderful. Oh, it's been great to be with you today. Thank you again to Glamour Nizzy for operating and for Andrew as well for editing and making it available on YouTube and for Linda as well, our friend who helps us in our church. And it's been great to be with you. Let's put our hands out. These hands that can be used to bless and used to show God's love in the world. May you receive the warmth, the joy and the kindness of God. And may you be so full of God's love that it overflows into your family, to your friendship groups, into your community, your church, your town, your city, your country, and the world. Amen. Don't forget, if you want to write to us, you can write to scruffy at stephensbath.org.uk. You have a wonderful week, and we'll see you next week on Scruffy Church TV.
Todd's family, Scruffy Church TV.